Hi guys, this is Elise and welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. It's actually Friday night, but I wanted to do this video because my husband and I were going to go plant shopping in the morning for um, the yard. So I wanted to get this video done and I have a few things I want to share with you. Um, I have this beautiful card that I received from Tina. Hi Tina! And so I'm going to share this and then I have some other Happy Mail that came um, that I want to share first. Um, I believe I know who this is from. I have an idea. Um, but I haven't opened it yet. And then I have some adorable cards I'm going to share with you. Um, I was asked by Jill to guest design for Peachy Keen. Um, they have a new release that actually is coming out first thing in the morning. And um, it should be up already now uh, that this video is up. Um, but it's a really, really cute release. So I'm going to share that and share some cards that I made. So, so I apologize for this shadow because it is in the evening. Um, and there's no, of course, no natural light coming in. So, so let me first share this super adorable card. Tina, I apologize to you for just now sharing this card. I received this card from Tina, uh, last week, uh, about a week ago, and I did not have a chance to share it, but I wanted to share it now because it is so adorable. She used this, I believe this is a stamp by Judith, um, stamp, I believe it is. And you can correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, um, Tina, but I believe that's what it is. But it's this adorable uh, lady with this bunny, and she's holding this bucket. It's so, so cute. And then she added this crochet trim here with this little button and some twine. And she used this beautiful paper in the background. And she colored it so nice. It's so nice, Tina, the way you colored it. I absolutely love it. She even has the little shadow there where the... The water's in the bucket. So cute. I love this card. And she wrote me a really nice note in the inside. And thank you, Tina, so much for sending out cards and using the hashtag uh, SpreadKindness57. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate everyone else that's been also using that hashtag. And she even wrote it on the back here. And all you have to do is um, send a card out to someone and just mention that you're going to send it out. And you can use the hashtag SpreadKindness57. And I'll have a chance to see all the cards that are going out. And so will everyone else. So thank you, Tina, so much for this beautiful card. And then I received some happy mail. And here it is here. And there's a little box here that says, this will probably need to be fluffed. Um, and then um, there's a little baggie here with some uh, card. And I recognize this little bunny washi tape and this little Happy Mail sticker because I saw Anna White's video and I also saw Jill's video. So I'm guessing that this is going to be from Jana. Hi, Jana. And so I'm going to open this. And sorry, guys. Okay, so the first thing she has in here, she has this little bag with these adorable little um, wood veneer pieces. And there's a bunny, there's an Easter egg, and there's another bunny. So cute. So thank you, Jana, for those. Those are definitely going to be used. And then she has this um, Godiva chocolate. These look so yummy. It's chocolate domes, double chocolate. Belgium chocolate. Godiva chocolate. It's so yummy. So thank you so much for that. And let me open the cart and see if I'm correct, But because I believe this is from Jana. Okay, so she's got this little magnet here. And this is definitely going to go in my journal. Now, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read this. Let me see. Uh, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for welfare, not uh, evil, to give you hope and future, and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. So there's a little magnet uh, clip. So thank you so much for that. That's going to definitely go in my journal. And Jana, guys, she makes the most beautiful cards. And this is adorable. Look at this, guys. Look at this beautiful card. Let me make sure I'm in frame. This is so pretty. Um, Jana is a Stamping Up demonstrator. I believe she is still a Stamping Up demonstrator. And she makes the prettiest cards. And she does the, the best techniques. So if you want to learn some... Uh, card making techniques go over and check out Jana's channel. I will put the link to her channel in the description box below But look at this adorable adorable card This cute little bunny so adorable and it says hello And I love the way she in, embossed this uh, floral um, Print in the background 
Oh, and she sent me some seeds. Thank you, Jana. And these are bachelor button seeds. I'll definitely try to plant those. And it's hi, Elise. Send me happy mail. Wishing you a very happy spring. I really enjoy your videos. Hugs, Jana. So thank you, Jana, so very much. And look at this cute little, um, her little stamp, signature stamp on the back with this adorable little stamp here. This little girl holding this bunny. So cute. This is a beautiful card. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Beautiful card. So thank you so much. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay. So she's got something in this little box. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, let me see how it goes, guys. I think it got a little tangled, but let me just figure it out. I don't want to... I probably should have did this ahead of time. Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I don't want to take too much time doing this. Okay, here we go. Goes like this. Okay, so that's... Oh, it's like a, a wind chime hanging. Oh, this is really pretty. Look how pretty this is. Wow, this is really pretty. I'm going to hang this in my craft room by the window. This is really pretty. Thank you, Jenna, so much. Look how she made this. So she's got these hearts and the string is going through the heart, through the butterflies, through this like um, flower shape and then through another heart and with some beads on the end. This is really, really pretty. It's almost like a, a wind chime or something, but it's not a wind chime. Thank you so much, Jana. Thank you so much for sending that to me. That's beautiful. That's going to go in my craft room, and it's going to look so pretty hanging in my craft room. So thank you so very much. Thank you so much, uh, Tina and Jana, for the Happy Mail. Thank you so much, ladies. Okay, so let me show you the cards that I made. But first, let me show you the new release. Um, I was so excited when Jill sent these images to me um, to use for Saturday morning makes. And um, you can go over to the website because, like I said, these images, let me see if I can back out just a little bit. Um, these images should be on the website now. Um, so here are the adorable images that just came out that were released by uh, Kathy over at Peachy, Peachy Keen. These are so adorable. So you've got this little chick holding these little uh, peeps. And then you've got this little baby chick that's just hatching so cute and then you've got these two little chubby bunnies eating peeps with their easter eggs and the thing i like about these two you've got two different designs um this one's holding a little yellow peep and then the eggs are different colors and then you, over here you've got a blue peep and you've got little peeps over here on the side peeking out and with more easter eggs so adorable and then there's one more um image this one here. Now this one here, um, I did not make a card using this one. This one actually is going to go on the front of my new April journal cover, which I have not done yet, but um, I'll be sharing that, you know, soon when I when I finish my cover. So I did not want to cut this one and use this one um, because that's going to go on the front of my journal, my new journal for this month. And then you also have some new sentiments. And again, you guys can go over. I'll put the link to um, Peachy Keen in the description box below. You guys can go over and, and check out these new uh, releases. So you have all these sentiments that, that are in another set. Now I'm not sure how these sets are going to come together. If this is going to be a single stamp or if, if you're going to get all four of these in a stamp set, I'm not sure yet. So I know that you can, um, these will be available for digital download and I think they're going to be doing a pre-order for the actual physical stamps so um you can go over and 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 see what's what's available so here are the sentiments you've got have a sweet easter happy mother's day so these are all for spring happy easter to the to one of our favorite peeps happy easter to some of our favorite peeps hello there thank you welcome little one happy mother's day in a different font to my favorite chick happy birthday and happy easter and happy easter now this Happy Easter is the same font as this one, but it's just a little bit bigger. Can you see that? Okay, so let me show you the cards that I make because I don't want this video to get too long and I don't want to have to redo this video. Okay, so these first two cards, they're pretty simple. 
but I thought they turned out really cute. Now, I didn't pull all the dies and things that I used. Um, I didn't pull all that out, and I just used uh, scrap papers to make these cards, okay? Just some of the papers that I've been using in other projects. So here are the first two cards, and I think they turned out really adorable. The images are so cute. And this, what I did with this one, I just used some of my dies to cut the paper, and then I... Um, uh, this one I used two different papers and just stack one on the other and then I use some glossy accents for the For the eggs there. Can you see that and I think I'm gonna give all these cards a good spritz of uh, Glitter dust. I finally got some more glitter dust guys um, I know a lot of people have been having a hard time getting it it's finally back in stock And so I did get some glitter dust and so here is my first card and then in the inside I just put um Happy Easter. Sorry about that glare. Happy Easter in the inside. I used one of the sentiments. And on the back, I used another piece of the scrap paper and just used a punch to give it that pretty edge. Okay, and I do need to sign the back of this one. So there's the first one. And here's the second one. Really cute. And I could have cut these out, but I decided to just leave them on, um, like, you know, to cut them out in a rectangle. And then I just used a couple of stamping up punches and did some layering there with the sentiment. And I think it turned out really adorable. And this one, I just have this purple paper here. It's a really pretty paper. I think I'll put a white um, oval or something in the inside. And I need to put something on the back. But those are the first two. And I think they turned out really, really cute. Now the second one, I used the little chick. Let me see. Let me show you. Okay, so the first two, I used these two images here. And the second card, this third card, I used this chick here, okay? So here is my card here. And I think it turned out so adorable. And it says, to my favorite chick. And I think I'm going to go back and put a little button right there. Now that I look at that. And then the inside, here's the inside. And then I put a little banner on the back. And I still need to put my signature. But look how adorable this is. I just put it on a scallop. Uh, die cut piece and then I put some glossy accent on the little peeps Just to kind of make those stand out a little bit this little doily here right uh, here that I have here uh, This was made by Susan Laverty. Hi, Susan and um, She gifted those to me probably two or three years ago Probably I think two years ago and I still have those in my stash So I put one there and like I said, I think I'm gonna put a little button there It needs something right there so that's the third card, and I think it's so adorable. Now the fourth card um, is this one here. I used the little, the little baby chick there, and here is my card, and I think it turned out so cute. And it says, welcome little one. Now this is a dye um, lawn fawn. This is a lawn fawn dye. And it's actually, a, you can use it for a chicken wire or you can use it as a beehive um, if you want to insert the pieces back in. But it's a chicken wire die. And look how cute that is. So I used some glossy accent for the um, egg. And he's just hatching out the egg. I did put some little, can you see, I put some little um, raffia right there because he's sitting on top of his little nest. Sitting in the nest and... How cute is that? So adorable. So, and it just kind of stands up like that. You see, it, it, this kind of stands up. And what I did was when I glued the sides down, I just pushed it in just a little bit to give it a little lift. So it's not sitting right on top of that little chick. Look how cute. Now I know this is may not be real practical to mail, but I'm going to find a way to mail this. I don't know anyone having a little baby girl, so if you are having a baby girl, let me know and I'll send this card to you. So this is the inside. And then on the back, I still have to sign it, but this little crocheted piece here with the little heart uh, crocheted around the heart, this was made by Susan as well. Hi, Susan again. And she put this little flower, so cute. I thought that was adorable. And this is just the cutest little card. I think it's so cute. I love the way this little card turned out. So those are my cards for Saturday Morning Makes. And for the Peachy Keen uh, release, go over and check out the website, guys, to see what is available. Um, I haven't looked yet, but I'm going to look this morning. Um, I'm going to look in the morning and see uh, what these sets look like because I would love to have... Um, 
maybe the digitals um, so that I can get a better um, a better printout. These were actually sent to me um, and they're just copies. So um, anyhow, but look how cute those are. So adorable. So anyway, so these are just some adorable adorable new releases and I love how these cards look these are gonna all go out for spread kindness 57 and thank you so much Jill for asking me to participate in this release and and guest design for peachy keen and thank you Tina and thank you Jana for the lovely cards and Jana for the happy mail I appreciate you ladies and you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will talk with you later bye